Jo, wir sind immer noch bei Head Music hier am Stand und Head ist jetzt auch der Vertrieb von Dingwall und ich habe mir mal Sheldon geschnappt, er ist der General Manager von Dingwall und das sind besser aus Kanada und wirklich ein absoluter Custom-Hersteller und hat sich auch nach Frankfurt getraut auf die Musikmesse hier und ich habe ihn mal vor die Kamera gezerrt. Hi Sheldon! Nice to have you here on the, music, uh, on the Musikmesse. Oh, it's great to be here. Thank you so much, Oli. So what's good in Germany? <laughs> the people. And the beer. Beer's good too, but the people are fantastic. Yeah? You oh. like the German people? Yeah, I love them. Everybody from Ahead and from Session, uh, we're just blown away. I can't believe how, uh, how uh, friendly they are. It feels like a family. I've only been here for five days and it feels like I'm part of the family. Also er hat gesagt, er fühlt sich sehr, sehr wohl in Deutschland, weil alle sehr freundlich sind. Kann man sagen, ja, aber wir sind alle eine große Familie und das ist natürlich auch geil bei Ahead. Es gibt viele, viele Marken unter einem Dach, unter anderem auch Dingwall und es geht um Bässe. So you build basses. Yes, basses, guitars, basses are our main thing. Okay, so, um, I mean, what is special on your style of bass building? Everything special. Yeah. We, we don't overlook anything. We make our own strings or we have them made for us. We design our own strings, we design our own hardware. We manufacture our own pickups, which are unique, and nobody makes pickups like us. So you're doing everything by yourself? As much as possible. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we make our own truss rods. We do unique things with woods that nobody else does. Okay. And all for one reason. It's all so that instead of the bass being the hardest instrument to hear in a, in a mix, it's now the easiest instrument to hear. And so it helps bass players communicate with their audience. Okay, also was er sagt ist halt, sie machen wirklich sehr, sehr viele Bauteile der Bässe, die sie bauen selber. Ja? Und ich meine, der Bass spielt eine wichtige Rolle. Wenn man live spielt, ist der Bass oft schlecht zu hören. Und wenn der Bass aber geil klingt, dann ist es so, dass sich das gut aufs Publikum überträgt. Ja? So the bass is a really important instrument in the band. People don't know that, because when you watch TV, you see a singer. You don't see the bass player. You see a drummer, you see a guitar player. People forget that the bass player is the one that gets everybody up on the dance floor. All right. It makes them want to engage in the music. Okay, so let's speak about your bases here. So what's new here? Uh, here we have our new Super B bass. It's, our, it's the most exciting bass we've done in a long time. Why? Because it's so simple, and yet everybody understands a P, because it's, so, it's, it's the iconic instrument. It's, it was the first electric bass. Alright, so, so uh, we have the classic wood combination here, like ash and maple here. Ash and maple, but what we do is we orient the wood. Ash is, is stiff in one direction, it's flexible in the other. Yeah. So we orient it so it's stiffer on the bass side, more flexible on the treble. So now the bass is brighter and punchier, and the treble is warmer. Okay, alright, okay, also was wir hier haben, ich meine, das ist natürlich geil, ich meine, es gibt, es gibt die hohen Seiten und es gibt die tiefen Seiten. Und er behandelt die Seiten unterschiedlich, auch von der, von der Holzselektierung her und auch von der, von der, um, von der, uh, from the scale. So, I mean, you have different scales on different strings. That's the main point on your basses, right? It's, it's the most... One of the main points. It's the most noticeable. And uh, the reason for it is that by having each string at its ideal scale length... Okay, wir haben also verschiedene Seiten und jede Seite bekommt die eigene Mensur. Ihr müsst euch das mal anschauen. Die längste Seite ist die tiefste Seite, ist auch, ist, auch, ist auch die Seite, die halt sehr oft am schwersten zu hören ist. Und die höchste Seite hat eine kleinere Mensur und klingt dadurch fetter. Yeah? So, so the treble strings are fetter sounding and the bass strings are more, are more, more clear. More clear. Yeah. And the tension is more equal too. Yeah. So, so we have a long scale and a short scale bass in one instrument. In one instrument. Yeah. And, so, and so every note has a similar tone to it so that every note gets heard. Whereas most basses, you hear some notes, you, you don't hear others. Also was er macht, er, 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 er will wirklich jede einzelne Seite einzeln behandeln. Er sagt, okay, die tiefe Seite braucht mehr Klarheit und die hohen Seiten brauchen mehr Fettheit. Und so legt er für jede Seite eine eigene Mensur zurecht. Das habe ich so noch nie gesehen, das ist der Hammer. Okay, I mean, it's very, very interesting to me because I never saw that before. Ah, uh, yes. It, it's been around for quite a long time, but um, It's very hard to build instruments like this. Yeah. Very hard. Okay. Uh, so what different types do we have here? We have the new Super P5. Yeah. We have the new Super P4. Four string, yeah? Yes. I mean, it's a classic. Yeah. Very classic. Yeah. Very lightweight. That's, that's very important. I like lightweight yes. uh, woods here, yeah. Oh, yeah. And the way we got the lightweight is we made the body thinner. Yeah. 
We could have tone chambered it, but that would have made the mids less strong. And a P is about strong mids. So by making it thinner, we got solid mids, we got resonance, we got lightweight. Okay, so you do the decisions for the tone. Yes, oh absolutely. That's the, uh, the most important thing on the bass is the tone. I mean, what else? Yes, yes. Uh, we also have one of our artist basses here. Uh, this is the Lee Sklar signature model. Uh, everybody knows Lee Sklar from Toto and Phil Collins and Rod Stewart and he, he's played on 20,000 songs. He is an insane, maybe one of the most important bass players in the world. Yes. He is. And and Lee, he, he plays several basses because he plays so many different styles and so many different gigs. But this is his, his five string. This is the only five string he plays. And he's played this bass for over 15 years. Yeah. Um, it features a longer scale length, which is so clear that you can drop it down to an A, and it still sounds tight, and it sounds like thunder. Uh, Bass Player Magazine once said... Like a, like a low piano string, right? Like, uh, exactly, yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, Bass Player Magazine once said that our B string sounds like the voice of God. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> All right. What else do we have here? Um, we have this model, which is an ABZ, all made in Canada, lightweight, passive, very well priced. Let me uh, grab one more for you. Sorry. This is our combustion base. What? Our combustion base. What is that? Um, it's the name, the model, the combustion. All right. It's made in China, but we make the pickups in Canada. EMG Electronics made in California. Right. Dingwall strings made by GHS in Michigan. CTS pots made in USA. High quality jack. And we make the truss rod. So even though the base is made in China, it's a fully professional instrument. Okay, so, so you have the same idea uh, for affordable price, right? For a, for a much more competitive price, but it's still a professional instrument, and it kills. Yeah. For the price, yeah. I mean, I mean we no, have no, to for any price, it kills. Right. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> also, er macht auch Serien aus China, aber normalerweise sind die Sachen, die wir jetzt hier gesehen haben, alle handgebaut aus Kanada. Ihr wisst ja, in Kanada wachsen sehr, sehr viele Bäume. I mean, I mean, you don't have a problem with wood in Canada, right? You have so many trees there. We have lots. Oh, lots of trees. More trees than people. <laughs> I think so. Ich meine, er macht, er macht eine kleine Firma, hat er mir vorhin erzählt, mit sechs Leuten. I mean, you have six people in the, in the factory, right? Six people in the factory plus yeah. one outside sales. Yeah. Also, uh, es wirklich, wirklich, ja, also es ist wirklich eine kleine Firma in Kanada und das finde ich schon mal geil, wenn sich jemand dann aus Kanada hierher traut und sagt, ey, schaut mal, was ich für geile Bässe mache. Ja, okay. So, do we have everything new here? Something, something other? Uh, so they didn't show to us? Uh, I can show you uh, our Super J. Or would you like to see guitars? Oh, just, just for basses. Okay. Uh. Oh, that's that's cool. Uh, this is our Super J. Uh, with all our traditionally styled instruments, we use a slightly shorter scale. Right. So it sounds rounder, um, punchier. L little, little, little bit like a jazz bass, right? So the other one was a little bit like a precision here. Um, yeah. This is like this is like a precision, yeah. but with more mids, yeah. more highs, yeah. more lows, more dynamics. Okay. So it's a super P. Yeah. Um, same thing here, a super J, and uh, this one is passive, but we do have an active version as well. Uh, this we tone chamber because J's have normally a scoop sound. Yeah, sure. So we use a tone chamber instead of thinning, and we get a nice weight that way. Okay. Also, what we have is a jazz bass halt natürlich auch nach seiner Art gebaut. Er sagt, er ist natürlich gechambert, damit, damit, damit er ein bisschen mehr Mitten hat, aber hat, hat, hat auch die unterschiedlich langen lang Scales oder die unterschiedlich langen Mensuren. Das ist natürlich super geil. Okay, I mean, that's a very good thing. I mean, we are really happy to have it in our distribution. Yeah, oh. so, I mean, I like, I like small factories. I like, I like those, those guys who build their own dream. I like that a lot, really. We yeah. build because we love it. Yeah. And even though I'm the designer, Every idea I come up with, I take to my to my employees, and they all offer their input. And 
Some of the best ideas come from them, not me. Yeah. So it's, we all work together. So we all a family. Yes, exactly. Okay. Okay, das war Sheldon von Dingwall für Ahead Music und für Session Music TV. Rock on. <laughs>